hot. <laughs> we got a ghost. Why did it float? Did it just... I'm gonna tell you something that sounds unbelievable, but weird things have happened to me before like this though. And um, so I've seen strange things like this before, but I realized that not everybody has in the world, but it just is what it is. So earlier, I got up and I was going to help Ali with fixing some stuff up by the shed because we're having people to, people over to come look at it to maybe fix a part that needs to be worked on. So I got all my, my work in, on the shed clothes on. <laughs> Feeling real Bob the Builder <laughs> to go help Lee. Promised him I'd help. <laughs> and then Lee's already outside. And I hear it starting to rain. I was like, oh my goodness. Lee's getting rained on out there. And I'm about to get rained on out there. And I think, oh, that would be so nice if I brought Lee out some ponchos that we bought a couple months ago when there was a hurricane coming through and we got them in case we needed to rescue some cats or something. We never ended up needing to use it because the rain wasn't even that bad. I just stumbled upon them recently and I was like, oh, if it's ever rainy and we need to go outside, we can use them. So I'm thinking what, what a nice surprise it'll be for Lee outside. I come walking up with some ponchos and then he won't have to get rained on. So I go into the laundry room and look around in this bag. No, it's a box. I'm looking around this box where I thought I saw them. And that's where I end up seeing um, an umbrella that I'll use as well. And I'm looking at this other box that has like all random socks that don't have pairs and just random stuff. And I really. I, I checked both boxes twice. It's a little dark in, in the laundry room. I didn't see him. I'm like, okay, so I'll just use this umbrella. And I take this other umbrella, I walk outside. See if Lee wants the umbrella. He doesn't want the umbrella. So I just go about my business, um, prepping the walkway and stuff for people to come. Make sure there's no dog poo in the walkway. And and I start sweeping some of the leaves. So I'm doing, I'm outside for a while. Then I come in from sweeping the leaves. I go into my bedroom. I go to my phone from the side table. And what do I see on the bed but the two little ponchos burn on my bed. I did not put them there. I haven't seen them for a couple days. And Definitely not today because I would have been wearing them if I found them. And I go to Lee, I'm like, Lee, did you <laughs> find these? And he's like, no. I'm like, I was looking for them. Are you messing with me? Did you put these on the bed? And he's like, no. I'm like, what do I have to do? What, what can you swear on? Like, honestly, are you messing with me? Because I did not put these on the bed. I was looking for them. And I finally believed him that he wasn't pranking me because, I mean, how would he prank me? Because he didn't even know I was looking for them. I didn't even tell him, like, oh, I couldn't find the ponchos. Like, he didn't even know there was a poncho search. So, yeah. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's poncho paranormal poltergeists afoot getting real up in here and <laughs> I think it could be a number of things I think it could it could be a spirit could be angels could be my mom could be fairies could be 
elves could be what do you think Lee what could it be I think it was you <laughs> no. <laughs> you do not are you serious no I have no idea <laughs> stop I why would I put it on the bed I would have worn it when I found it I would have put it on I went through the little box was in the little box I checked the, the second little box wasn't there that's the only time I looked for the ponchos I'd say ghosts, guides, angels, that kind of thing. Could we, could we extraterrestrials teleported with their tractor beams? They're like, hey kid, don't catch cold. <laughs> yep. It's just getting real. It's getting real, real. So I've had stuff like happen. Yeah, this is the third time. You guys remember, well if you've seen it, on my ASMR channel, that ghost story video, I had those rocks that moved in the house in my, uh, my high school. I've heard actually that when things get moved around the house, people usually think of poltergeists first or, and like ghosts and everything, but I've heard a psychic say that that's actually more fairy activity. They like to play tricks on people. Well, it wasn't really tricks though. It was like helpful because I was looking for it. What do you think? We're, we're so sleepy. It's a mystery. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah, I'm going to have breakfast. <laughs> Well, these are helpful spirits or fairies or whatever it is. It's not like a, a trick. So 